I wanted to share uh, some new video for, for you all and everyone watching of what appears to be a Russian combat training instructor for the 247th Regiment in Stravopol pleading to a regional governor, pleading for more equipment and supplies. Let me play it. Your fighters that you sent to us here in Stavropol Krai are almost completely naked. They have no medical kits and they have just one tourniquet. Any one of you come over here. As you can see they have almost no protection and just two plates. They don't have any thermal underwear. The boys are freezing. Now, General, we can't authenticate this video, but I, I just will be clear. It is in line with a previous report, videos, phone calls of Russian troops uh, complaining about unbelievably inadequate and unacceptable supply situations for a modern military. So it, it, is this part of what we're seeing right now? Is there any way for Russian forces to succeed on the ground with the conditions that we just heard outlined there? Short answer, Aaron, no, absolutely not. Here's, here's what you have to consider. Those new trainer, trainees that are coming in after being mobilized are prepared to be trained. They're also prepared to be equipped. That's individual training. They teach them things like rifle marksmanship and first aid and how to move in small units and things like that. But that's just the first step, and that takes weeks. After that, it takes months to have them learn what's called combined arms operations, tanks working with infantry, working with armor, working with engineers. It literally takes months of training. There was a NATO report submitted today that said the earliest, if everything goes right, that Russia can get mobilized troops on the front lines is May. That's months away, and that's considering that they had everything they need. The fact that those soldiers don't even have tourniquets, band-aids. I mean, we're, you showed a, a, a neurosurgeon in Ukraine operating on a brain the other night in a combat support hospital. These guys don't even have tourniquets to wear on their uniforms. So that means they probably don't have medics. They don't have first uh, aid stations. They don't have support hospitals. All of those... All of those things contribute to making a modern army, and Russia continues to fail miserably.